Hi, and welcome. In today's show, we are going to talk about how to zero your ATN Excite Pro um, rank, um, scope. Yeah, there we go. We're going to talk about that. Okay, so but before I get started, hi, and welcome to Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today is Crossbow Forum Monday. All right. Yes. Okay. So like I said in the intro, we are going to talk about zeroing your ATN scope. Because I think there might be some little bit of mis miscommunication. That's just my opinion. On zeroing your scope. Okay. So what brings us to that, let me bring that up here, is a question that was sent to me. Oh boy. Okay, so the question is, I have an Excite K Pro. This is from Will Dug Dugan. If I pronounce your name wrong, I totally apologize. <clears throat> I have an Excite uh, 4K Pro. I zeroed in at 20 yards and had to lower my feet per second once I got out to 50 yards. I can't range anything past 70 yards because my radical... Is at the very bottom of the screen. I have the latest firmware. ATN even says it's the latest firmware. Um, in the zero settings, I got my zero range. I have it set for 20 yards. And I need to set, let's see, do I need to set it for 50 yards? Then zero everything in at that at 50 yards. Okay, so that's a was a very good question. Okay. So basically, when you're zeroing in your scope, okay, um, we'll go we'll go over here, and we'll, we'll okay. So I'm not going to talk about any of this stuff up here, okay. Um, unless you need me to, you can always leave me a comment down below. But this right here, this is the important range, your zero range, okay. Uh, this isn't my scope. This is I got. I took a picture of the uh, the settings on zero and profiles on um, the um, ATN site. Okay, so whatever yardage you are going to set your scope at. Okay, so we'll use this one here. Uh, it says ninety nine and fifty two. You may see a hundred yards. Okay. That's where you want to set your, your zero range at. Whatever your zero range is, that's that's the limit basically you can really get into, really understand. <clears throat> um, so, um, for a crossbow, we're really not going to shoot anything probably more than 40-ish, maybe 50-ish, depending on the speed of your crossbow. Okay. So, if you want to do a 100-yard setting, that's fine, okay? Um, but I think for a crossbow, no more than 40, I mean, no more than 50, maybe 60 yards to set your scope at. And I'm going to be setting my scope for my crossbow at 50 yards, and that'll be in another video. So go back if you so basically what what you want to do is work your way back okay um, 20 40 then 50 okay um, the reason is is you don't want to make a big jump and find yourself missing your target okay and you notice in my video back one of my videos uh, back, um, I missed my target. I shot over my target. Okay. That was for a couple of reasons. I had it set at 60, but I didn't have my range set at 60. I think I had it still set at 40. Okay. So you need to have your range, your zero range at 60 and your yardage set at 60. Okay. Um, that way, 
you're basically on target or close to being on target. But I'm not going to talk about that video. You guys, if I remember, I'll float it up here above and leave a link down below. But again, you got to worry about your speed of your crossbow. Okay. Now, that, that's an, another important factor in sighting in your crossbow. Because it can tap out, okay, at, the, at the, the high end or low end. It can tap out where you can't adjust it anymore. You can go in and adjust your speed to, to do it. But is that going to interfere, say, at 20 yards or 30 yards shot? I haven't experimented with that enough to, to, to give you a decisive answer. Um, I've seen videos where they have done it, lowered their speed, increased their speed, or whatever. Um, but there's a couple of videos out on that. But I would say stick with the speed of your cross. That's where a chronograph comes in. That's very, very important. A chronograph. Okay? Get the exact speed of your crossbow. Okay? And that's where, let me go back over here, uh, your feet per second is going to come in, okay? Now your uh, bullet weight or your arrow weight, um, get an average for your, you know, if you have six arrows and they're within, say, two grains, get an average. That's what you want to use, the average of your, of your uh, speed, and you guys have noticed I've done that in, in other videos. And you get your speed. Okay. That's important. Speed with the zero. Very, very important. But you're not going to use your ballistic calculator while zeroing. That is a no-no. Do not use your ballistic calculator. Okay. You're only going to use your ballistic calculator when you're using the range finders, the ABL range finders or the handheld range finder, electronic range finder that, that, that ATN has. That's the only time you're going to use your ballistic calculator. Okay? That's, 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 that's very, very important. If you're using a... Um, that's what I got... If you're using, say, the range, a, a, a different handheld range finder, like I got this Nikon Cool Shot 40i, okay? If I were to use this, do not use your ballistic calculator, okay? You, sit, you get your range and you manually put your range in on your ATN scope, okay? And I believe that's with all of the um, um, ATN scopes. You're only going to use your ballistic calculator when using their equipment. Okay? That's what I believe and I want to say. If I'm wrong, just let me know down in the comment. Um, but this will be another show we'll be doing. But... And another thing that's important here is your ride height on your, your scope. That's another important thing here. Okay. You measure from the <coughs> top of your rail to the center of your scope or the center of your scope. That's your, your ride height. Okay. So going back here a little bit. Um, you want to make sure 100% of your uh, zero range and your um, um, yardage that you're shooting at. Okay? That's why you got you need got to have a range finder. Okay? Um, so just you know, giving you examples, and this is what I use, 20, 40, and 50. Okay. 
if you're if you're using a slower crossbow and you're using this type of scope, okay, you might have to be shorter. You might have to be your final range maybe 40. Okay, if you're tapping out at 50, then move into 40 or 45. Okay, that's that's, that's an important thing. And I've I've, I've that, again trial and error on my part. Okay. So you I hope I'm I hope I'm making myself clear. I'm not sure here, but again, just to recap again, sight in at 20, range at 20. Sight in at 40 or 30, whatever you want to go. 10 yard increments is just, just as good. Um, but make sure your zero range and your uh, your range are exactly the same. 20 and 20, 30 and 30, 40 and 40, 50 and 50, so on and so on. Okay? So if, if you're using a rifle and you go out further, again, do the same thing in increments. Okay? Um, that way, you, know, or you can go further if you want, but sometimes you might be wasting a lot of lead. Okay? Um, but you're doing two or three shots at 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or whatever might be a lot better than shooting, say, at, a, uh, at 200 yards and you're way low and you got to bring that scope way up high. That might tap you out or whatever. But just, just keep that in mind. Um, so it's, again, just important to make sure your ranges are together. 20 and 20, 30 and 30, 40 and 40, 50, 50, or whatever you're using, okay? Um, because it, uh, because a lot of time when you look at a lot of videos, they don't talk about stepping it out, okay? So you want to step it out as much as possible. So, but for crossbows, the speed is going to be important, Okay. Because at, with my Wicked Ridge shooting at 330 something feet per second with the Zombie Slayers, it was, I tapped out at the bottom. Okay. Um, so I didn't have, I couldn't raise it up any further. So, but with the 470 at 60 yards, with the zombie slayers I tapped I couldn't tap out I tapped out again with the elevation okay with the um, evil X I don't know yet at this time of the video I'm like getting ready to move back to 50 yards okay so we'll find out together on that in the next video but right now, both of us are sick, aren't we? Yeah, we got cold, so we're, we're not going outside right now and shooting. That's why we're doing this video on the ATM site. Okay, so I hope you guys got something out of this. Um, again, just leave me questions, send me an email, uh, anything. Uh, I'll be more than happy to help you. Just remember, though, 2020... 30 30 40 40 or 50 50 but do not use the ballistic calculator when you're sighting in your crossbow do not again it's only the ballistic calculator is only for when you're using your abl or your handheld rangefinder from atn okay if you're not going to be using your atn rangefinders you got to manually set the range in your in your um crossbow if you need to know how to do that just let me know and i'll show and then i'll make a video on it okay so um yeah that's all i got for you right now um hope you all are having a great day um remember my amazon links down below um hit those up and thank you for watching yep. thank you for watching <laughs> yeah and uh remember these episodes are dedicated to my son and have a great day and thank you for watching Utah.
crossbow hunter.